everyone. So today is the first day of Wogmas and <laughs> we're going to Ikea. So we're actually going to look at some unit that I need for my bedroom and also like see what Christmas decorations they have because they have some really nice Christmas decorations and I think they've got some trees as well. Um, so yeah, we're just going there now. I love looking at all the kitchens though, it just makes me want us to have a new kitchen. It would be nice. It would. That'd be nice for all the natural stuff. Like yeah. That. Them little pandas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just probably going to get two medium and one large one. Not as big, but yeah. You can buy two and it's still cheaper than that. So, because that's only five pounds, so you can buy two. It's or not as I big get as that. Two or three, because then if I wash them, I'll need some spares. Yeah. So, two fleecy things for the guinea pig switches. I just put them in there. I think it'll fit nicely though. Yeah. It's a good size. Can it still fit? Yeah. How did it work? Because you put it in and then the lid just pushes in like that. I really like the colours as well. They are cool. Let's get them. Yes. How much? That's well cool. Little elephant on the calf. <laughs> Do you have to have Wi-Fi? Can I enable wireless charging? <laughs> I'm going into fairy like territory. <laughs> so that just charges it. Okay, we're going to get this giant box. IKEA Christmas shop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Here are all the baubles. Gold ones. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's the Dalahas. I don't know, but I didn't know if it was like a box, a gift box, or whether it's an ornament. Oh, thank you. They're the ones mum wrote. It's like a giant gingerbread house. That's cute, isn't it? We just got home from shopping. I would say it was quite a successful shopping trip. I got what I needed and everything and a few little extras here and there. So I'm going to be opening my advent calendar because, oh, why am I zooming in again? I always do that because I haven't opened it this morning. So, oh, hi, Vinny. Hi, Vinny. He's up to no good. He's doing something he shouldn't. So this is from Holland and Barrett and it's organic, fair trade, dairy-free alternative to milk chocolate. So I'm guessing it's just like a dark chocolate. Ooh. I actually love it when there's no tin foil. Whoops. <laughs> I can't get it out. So it's, let's see, it's a little stocking. Mm. It's nice. It's 
hopefully you enjoy just seeing around like here and everything and <laughs> what we bought um but i thought i would just do a kind of i don't know just going through what we got um so first of all we've got these nice little baubles for the christmas tree they're really cute but we actually got these from home sense because we didn't like the baubles at ikea they were quite expensive um, and they didn't have the ones in stock which we really liked, which were like these little mushrooms, they were so cute. Um, we also got these from HomeSense, we're going for a bit of a red and white theme here. Then I also got some cookie cutters from Ikea because I'm wanting to do this for a video, you'll see. Um, so I got some of them, they're very very sweet. Then I got some sort of, I guess you could call it fleece, I don't really know. Um, I'm still experimenting with fleece, I've not yet found something that works really well. So I picked up two of these bath mats now. Basically what drew me to these is that it said they're really absorbent, which is so important. Um, I wanted to use these in the guinea pig's hutches. I know I won't be able to use straw, but I think I can use other methods for keeping them warm because I realised the bulk of the mess that I'm going through is from the hutch. So these are really really soft and they're super absorbent, it says they're very very quick to dry so it sounds perfect. I'm going to wash these a few times before I use them. So I got two of these, they're actually really good because they're quite big. Um, you can see and then I got three towels two medium and one large and we also got these little um, reusable lolly things because I don't know I just thought it would be fun to make my own at home and I really like these colours so that is pretty much everything I'm also going to go and build the Calyx unit now because I did buy the Calyx unit um, for the detail to go on so I'm probably going to get building that now. I've also got an advent calendar for the indoor guinea pigs. I would have done it for them all but we have too many and it wouldn't have really worked. So let's open number one. Oh you've got pea flakes today girls. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you're going to go get the pea flakes. <laughs> she can smell them but she doesn't know where they are. And Bonnie hasn't even realised. Oh, there they are. We're going to go have some. <laughs> That's a nice treat, isn't it? You don't normally get many pea flakes. Oh, she just jumped on the bowl. Well done. I also just wanted to say that I have contacted, well, I have been on the websites of various different rescues, local rescues. I've looked at all adoption places nowhere has any gerbils available at all so there is a bit of a problem there also none of the breeders are in my area there are no gerbil breeders whatsoever so my only option is to buy from a pet shop and i know there's going to be, pe be people who disagree with this um but the thing is at the end of the day you know if there aren't any what choice do i have really i don't want him to be on his own just because you know, I couldn't find any for adoption, that just seems silly, so it is the only option they have, to be honest, because there are absolutely none, um, I, there just isn't any in my area, so yeah, maybe I'll do a video on that, but that is just where we're at at the minute, I did actually phone pets at home last night, but they didn't really recommend introducing another gerbil, so I thought, well, I'll just go with what I researched and what I researched is that, you know, what I found out from doing research is that an older gerbil will tolerate a very young one. So again, another reason why I may have to go to pet shop because they have the exact age that I need. I actually hate instructions so much. I just like, you know, when you just want to get on with something, but you just have to work your way through this. It, it's just a bit confusing. <laughs> How cute is Pingu in the coconut? Oh, he's so adorable. Oh, he fell off. <laughs> You're gonna have a massive cage, aren't you, Pingu? If he moves into here, he's gonna like, I think he'll quite like that actually. I think I've noticed as well, he's been sort of climbing the bars a lot and falling off and it's not really very good for him. 
it's been really great this cage over summer because it's allowed him to keep really nice and cool. Um, oh, he was so cute. But I think it would be good if he could move into the eco habitat. Um, I just think that'd be really nice for him. You can see he's bar chewing now. I'm about halfway through doing this now. Bingo's watching me. Oh, why am I using a screwdriver? Jasper was sat on the Allen key. Jasper was sat on the Allen key. I finally finished building the new Calyx unit and I really think it looks so much better. Like, how tidy is my room now, guys? <laughs> and I just think the colour white goes so much better. I used to have a really big Calyx unit, it was double the height and it was brown but it never suited my room but obviously this is loads better. Um, so I'm really excited to get the details back down and everything sorted. So I just wanted to have a little bit of a chat before I end the vlog. Um, I will actually be going out to an Indian restaurant tonight because it's my dad's birthday and we're just going out. Um, but I probably won't film there just because, I don't know, I don't really want to. Um, but yeah, it's been a good first day and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will, you know, come back to see more of the vlogs. Hopefully you guys are enjoying them too and I will see you guys soon. Bye!